Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Ain't Shaw's Kitchen. Today, I have another recipe coming out for y'all. I'm making some famous barbecue biscuits. So, y'all, we're going to go ahead on and get started. First of all, I already greased my pan, but I think I'm going to grease it just a little more so my biscuits don't stick to the pan. And, uh, first, you got to go ahead on and Bake the biscuits in the oven and make the mixture. You put a biscuit in like this and you smash it down. And kind of make like a little mold. So it can make a hole for you to put your barbecue sauce and stuff in. You got to kind of make a little mold. And, uh, uh oh. Kind of make a mold so you can stuff the biscuits with the um, ground meat and barbecue sauce that I'm going to make. And then we're going to bake them in the oven after we finish. And you're going to have barbecue biscuits. Wow. I've made these for a long time, but I'm going to try it again, see how it's going to work out. And I had already pre-opened my can of biscuits, so let me try to get them out, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming along now. Okay. Looks like I could make two out of them, but I'm gonna stuff them. Okay, y'all. I thought maybe I could have made two biscuits out of one, but you want it kind of deep in there so it could make like a little pocket or something, and uh, you can put your mixture in. But you gotta really play with it a little while until it makes a little hole in the middle. And then kind of spread it out till it's really, really mixed in. And stuff. You really got to play with it. This would be a good idea, y'all, for pizzas and stuff. Kind of pizza pockets. That'd be great. Okay, y'all, I'm doing eight of them today, I guess. Okay. And uh, I guess I'm going to open another can of biscuits, y'all, and do an, an, I may as well just fill the pan up and get it all out the way. There you go, I popped it open. 
So I'm gonna con continue stuffing the pans, y'all. All right. We're gonna have it going on, baby. It's going down. Barbecue biscuits. We'll see how that turn out. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> My last biscuit, y'all, going in the pan. All right. And you know, you just can be creative. You can put whatever you want in them. I just learned. Um, in cooking school how to make these barbecue biscuits but I thought about some days you could put like cheese with pepperonis in it and the kids can make them a little kind of be a little creative and make them a certain type of pizza a muffin pizza shoot that'll be great alright y'all so now I'm going to take those and leave them on the side for a little while while I work on my mixture, the ground, the ground beef, we're going to do the ground beef and stuff, we're going to get it all ready. You can put onions if you want. A lot of them don't like onions over here. So, I'm making my mixture right now. And, um... You can mix it up how you want. You can put onions, bell pepper, all kinds of different seasonings. But, you know, I didn't. I choose not to. So I'm going to go ahead on and preheat my oven to 375. And you can cook it for another 25 minutes, you know. Just monitor it and see how it's going. Make sure it's doing great. And so... I'm going to do 375 and then I'm browning my ground meat here and then I'm going to go get my seasonings and my barbecue sauce and you season it how you like it. as much as you want however you like it to your taste and then I got this Tony Sachery Creole seasoning and I think that's all I need because it pretty much got everything in this you don't need no extra bell pepper or salt or anything else because then you're going to mix in some barbecue sauce with it and then that go your barbecue biscuit then you gotta bake your biscuits in the oven. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. The seasoning got into my throat. <coughs> all right. Mischief is almost done. Give it a few more minutes. And um, you can add some cheese in it before or either after. So I bought a bag of shredded cheese. And uh, I'm trying to open up my barbecue sauce here, y'all. I use some cheese. I use the already shredded cheese mixture. And I'm using sweet baby ray barbecue sauce, Italian. Ha I mean Hawaiian, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna put that all in the pot. 
when it's mixed up real good, then we're gonna stuff our biscuits. Keep stirring and stirring. Work it up. Get that ground meat all tender and get all the redness out of there. And it's kind of fat, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drain the grease out before we put the barbecue sauce and stuff in it. We don't want it too greasy. Well, you know, make us sick and stuff. All that grease. Looks like it's about done. So I'm gonna walk to the counter, the, the stove, and, I mean the sink, and I'm gonna drain some of the grease out. I'll be right back. All right, so now we got most of the grease out, and we're gonna put meat back on the fire. And baby, look, it's going down. Ain't y'all cooking it up today? God damn, don't y'all. Now I'm getting ready to go in with my barbecue sauce. Squeeze a little good bit of it so it can have that barbecue taste in there. Ooh, Lord. Look at that. And then I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Just put as much as you want to your taste. How much you want in your biscuit. It's up to you. Sometimes I like a lot of barbecue sauce, and sometimes I just want a little on my meat or in my food. So today I choose to put about half of a bottle of ba sweet baby ray. Then I'm gonna add a little cheese, y'all, to the mixture. So I'm going to take it and kind of pour it in like that. Let it, you hear it sizzling, boy? Listen to that fire, boy. It's cooking, boy. Oh, boy, it's frying in there. It's coming. It's going down. Mmm. -hmm. y'all well the barbecue biscuit mixture is ready now it's time to stuff the biscuits up okay y'all it's time to stuff the biscuits we're gonna get the mixture up and it's gonna look like this here when you finish you can put bay leaf and all kind of different chives and onions bell pepper whatever your taste so here i go i'm gonna strain it up a little bit and then I'm going to stuff the biscuits. Alright y'all, I got five done so far, and uh, just keep on stuffing them. I'm trying to strain the grease out of them so it don't be so greasy. We're gonna see how it's gonna come out, y'all. I know one thing though, they taste good when they done. Okay, so after this, let me put a little more in there. 
I don't want nobody to be shot, y'all. Everybody get an equal amount when it's done. And I'm gonna put them in the oven, y'all, in a minute after I get this last one in. My oven says ready. I'm gonna preheat it to 375 for about 25 minutes. Okay, y'all, they're going in the oven. All right, I'm gonna okay. call uh, okay, y'all, I'm about finished with my biscuits. So here I'm gonna put them on the on the pan. This is the finished result. This is what it looked like. And I'm just gonna take some of them and put them on the sheet here. Try not to make them break, y'all. I don't want them to break apart. That's number three. I'm gonna do about six of them up there so y'all can see what they look like. And those are barbecue biscuits. And like I say, you just dig a better hole into the biscuits, into the pan the muffin pan and then they can go deeper into the biscuits and there they go they go to finish results one more thing I have to put some cheese on top be right with y'all <clears throat> and here we go and you just take the cheese and you sprinkle them on top and like I said before, just as much as you want on them. However you like it. Me, I'm a rat. I like a lot, a lot of cheese on mine. So that one's going to be mine. But I like a lot of cheese. Some people don't like cheese, but I like a lot on mine. There you have it, y'all. Okay, y'all. We done did the finished touch to the biscuits, the barbecue biscuits. Now, I have my brother is my taste tester. So, go ahead on. Tell us what you think. Mmm, -hmm. It's good. Tastes good. Tastes great. Mm. Delicious. All right. I'll be back again, y'all. If y'all like this channel, please, please, please subscribe and share. Ain't Shaw's Kitchen.